वेलकम बैक इन माई चैनल टूडे होप यू आर डूइंग गुड एंड वेल विद गॉड ग्रेस सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट फॉर द डे नाइन वट वी डिस्कस इन द डे एट वॉज द टेक्निकल सॉरी मैनेज टेक्निकल सर्विसेज अनफॉर्चुनेटली दिस नो पार्ट टू बिकॉज आई थॉट इट विल बी लिटल लेंदी वन बट वी कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट एवरीथिंग in the previous video what we left is called the dynamic ca group which i'm going to be cover with this particular domain so this domain which we're going to be discuss is called the sell and consume a very interesting logically it should be the first part we have to be start but as per the defined white paper it is beyond the fifth part it's be coming here after that one more thing has been left so let's start with the dynamic ci group this particular component this particular module is very beneficial when you want to group the cis dynamically it means on the run time on the run time if i want to trigger approval to all the application owners where the server is in the uk or north america or japan so to do this kind of activities this dynamic ci group is very much important mainly this group help you to drive your approval mechanism in the change so what it says here the dynamic ci group is a dynamic grouping of configuration item based on the cmdb group query it means you have to be build the queries it means you have to build the pre built queries and you can use that pre built queries in this particular area and you can do your part so if i come here and i can show so we are talking about this thing this thing, dynamic ci group here i want that if all the applications or all the servers whose host which are hosted in london region specifically i want to approval should go to this particular group so you can do this part with the help of the dynamic ci groups it's a dynamically one but one thing to be very clear system will not generate this thing it's we have to be generate, generate the query and system will just use that data to populate or to run that particular stuff now for example you can create a dynamic query group based on the location of all web server which were we are discussing here in the detroit of oracle database in the boston so to do this part if if i want to be do these things practically on the change i have to be add the servers one by one by one by one by one in my affected service or the affected services but with the help of the dynamic ci group we can do it very quickly and very easily but 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 the catch is here that our dynamic ci group contains only ci a dynamic ci group does not contain other group so there is a no parent or child relationship in this part it means we can just you can add 100 to 100 multiple cs you want to be add you can add it here but you cannot create one group and add that group in the other one add group at another one no that is not possible to do this part <clears throat> what we have we have these things three types you can do number one as a query based application service what it say you don't have a service mapping yet it means your customer don't have a discovery or service mapping yet but still you want to know that there are 12 servers and three database instances which are part of my this particular server then instead of doing this on the spreadsheet you can use the dynamic ci group as an application service you can create as a application service for the same okay second part if i say truly practically i never implemented this at least i never implemented this thing definitely in my project it was there but i'm not that much technical strong so nothing to be hide with you guys and you know that i'm i'm not a technical guy here okay second as a managed group of infra the web servers in the detroit are managed by the detroit rock city as a technical service offering so in this case no need to be create the manual relationship this is what they are saying between offerings and the service cis it means if i create one group and i tag this group to my this particular part 
my work has been done a single relationship and work has been done that is the second part and also last third it and these are the use cases i'm not saying these are types these are the use cases specifically okay and the third one that is patch management it is time to patch 200 linux servers again and in change i want to be add this 200 no instead of that create one group and add that group in the change and all the 200 cis will become in the affected ci but again repeating <coughs> my words we have to be created we have to be create this query there's no one come and will create the query for you so dynamic ci group is mapped to this particular table let me copy this and come here and show you this part maybe you can check here if i can get let's say next year let's say next year no there's nothing called here let me leave it this come here dot list as of now you did not find any group let me come here and show you because these are the groups but you can use them as your relationship to build your relationship and also for the affected sales so you can see here if i say new and it's a new technical service i'm creating it so in short csgm says it is a technical service for you under that you can map the cmdb group here so let's say i'm putting a this one on by email you can put and you can put that which group you want to map it so as of now i can map the database it means all the cis which have this group map they will come here and if you want to know you can click here and you can go to this particular cmdb groups here so now you can see under this i have a three type of way to add a query number one you can add a query which contains sorry cmdb group contains query cmdb candidates encoded queries like operational non-operation kind of conditions here and at last with the configuration item so it means if i say dynamic ci group is nothing it is just a technical service for me or technical service offering for me it is up to you on how you want to get it and under that i have to be map the group which i want to be map it here so if you want to see all the ci map to this database let's see if it work for me or not i'm not sure this is a, okay so these are the ci where this database has the class or the group has been mapped and it is working for me so this is what the fundamental of the dynamic ci group now if you are a technical guy you can understand this part and you can take a benefit of doing all these things but again my question is still same my point is still same if i open it and you can go here let me put the new cmdb group here and let me say <coughs> london servers and i can put save and you can put the group type as well like health or this one if you put health then all the details will be available on the health in health dashboard as well as of now only these three type of queries available you can add it you can go and add your query builder but again i'm repeating my words that these are not the runtime queries query should be created earlier you have to be just use the groups to use that part you can put any query builder if you have a query builder if you have any query you can bring it otherwise you have to be go here and create a new query as well first so so again it's a repetition part but again now the the benefit of this particular dynamic ci group is that instead of adding this infra manually one by one in your change in a problem request or knowledge any sorry knowledge sorry incident or problem better use the dynamic ci group the only thing you should know that what to do and where to use this part and you can use this as a technical service offering this is what service now told us here so you can see it's showing as a view is new technical service let me see if i can change a view not i cannot do by this let me go here and let me copy this and see if any other view is available or not copy and dot list let's leave and now i can check it do you have any other view available as of now it's a default view it means default view is only 
one thread is called the new technical service and after that you can create your it's a view name is this and the view is this what you can get it very easily in that particular part this is what we have left in the previous discussion now let me come to the today's topic that is called the sell and consume this one this is the area which is available for the business user it means this is the place this is the area this is the set this is a section which is for the market what you are doing at your side and sorry what you are selling to the customer you can edit here here I, sorry here i have a business consumer and as a internal part i have a brm that is business relation manager and i have a customer service manager who is managing the services and who is building the relationship with the customer under this four parts request catalog is similar which we have discussed here something this important business service and service portfolio and also your technical service supporting your portfolio as well ultimately yes indirectly yes they are supporting that is it is the dotted lines not the hard lines and every business service has a service offering it means concept of offering is same here as well the only difference what is the business service here let me come here so now if we scroll down here <clears throat> you can see Sell and consume is a CSM domain that represent those table currently utilized by the SPM and customer service part. It means something which is available for the end users and another end users is not the right word. That's the business users or the business consumers. They represent the business portfolio. What you are selling, like take a, any any of the big MNC company, they are doing a lot of. They have a lot of things in the portfolio, support, maintenance, development. implementation release deployments even though they are selling this as a services consulting vendor part resourcing so these are their services available in the market and they are the operational and also they can be selectable on the incident problem and change but if i practically say it should not be the case we should raise up change or the problem or the incident only and only on the application service okay now if i scroll down let's understand what is the portfolio portfolio as i simply say what you as a customer sorry what you as a company is selling outside is your portfolio services products project or application that is your portfolio and service portfolio become a business or the technical let's say i am a, uh, i am a service provider and my portfolio says that i am doing the business of the resourcing that is my business portfolio technical i am doing product and services i have java i have a .net i have a service now i have a salesforce i have a bmc i have a jira so these are my the technical services as well which i am selling in the market i don't want to go in the depth because these are the very easy to understand terms which you can take it uh, understand very easily what is the business service which is available not sorry not available is not the right right word which is publish to the business user and business service has a sorry these services has a the portfolio has a life cycle as well they are in the addition phase they are in the operational phase and they are the retired phase as well maybe yesterday a company providing hr as a service but now they are not providing it due to any of the reasons so business service is a type which publish to the business user and typically underpin one or more business capability this one i am saying so you can see here has a relationship here so ultimately if you see on the top i have a business service under that i have these many things let me show you here you can see this is my business services this is my portfolio portfolio category under that i have a onboarding as a service and onboarding underpin capability underpin the onboarding it's not the reverse order no it's not going this part this it's coming from this way because it says is underpin the capability it means if anything i'm selling are published to my business users there must be have a business capability as well at least one capability should be there must be there otherwise i'm missing something there okay and you can get the detail in the cmdb ci service business let me try to show you on the service now as well as of now there is nothing but you can create that and also everything has a managed by on by approval group location you can put it very easily here now 
if I go over what is service offering, same thing which we discussed in the last session that is technical service offering coming from the same table, but it is a type. It is a type which can be capability, availability, pricing and packaging. It can be your um, location wise, I can say your geographical wise as well. But in short, I can say something which we already discussed and you have a service commitment on this service offerings as well. Ultimately, it's a service offering only. Let me see, do I have this service commitment here? Maybe that will be help you. So, commitments. Yes, I have a commitment service portfolio and I have a commitments as well. As of now, there is no commitment I created on this part. So, if I click on this, I can check these things. What service offering? See, the first part is service offering on which offering you want to put this commitment. You can go through my video and you can understand this part very easily. It's, it's a really interesting topic to be for a for an operational guy and for the uh, consulting perspective. Now, this has part has been done. Now let's scroll down. And you can see that we have a different dashboards available like this. So service form, hardware support, you can see the dashboard like this. Executive print services. This is what I'm selling in the market. So if you are on the high level side, maybe in the business side, you are on the management side, you know these services very much, then you can understand these concepts very quickly. But in short, from the service now perspective, from the development perspective, we should know that how these are the interrelated with each other. This is what we can say here. So this, this things basically has been picked up from the service commitment, which you can do it here. And it's you will you will be surprised to know this part that wow what is what is this things it has been added here uh, maybe i can say service commitment have to be create yep <clears throat> see so these many service commitment you can say response time availability maintenance window delivery recovery i want to know that how much the of how much the availability of the complete north america region for this month with the commitments you can do it very quickly and very easily in that part okay now let's proceed further on that thing <clears throat> now request catalog a consumable view everybody know in the service now that what is request catalog it's a place where i as a customer i as a business user I as a business consumer go and request for that particular service okay from the new york they have the service offering may be requested through the catalog as well that okay i am interested for this particular things catalog item is one of the smallest part which i'm actually ordering from that particular part maybe in the actual services i just want a onboarding or the document verification as a item so i can do that part on this particular area now let come here and see so this is what i have a offering this is my portfolio human resource portfolio and this i have a new employee under that i have a business service called the onboarding so this is what i can put on the catalog and my customer or the business consumer can take this from me as an offering mobile onboarding or enterprise onboarding under that i have a application services here this is what the smallest part of this particular domain i can say we have to be understand the only basic thing which is be required to understand that what record should go in business service go in application go in capability go in the application service or the technical service if you as a consultant or i as a consultant or we as a consultant able to do that part it means we won almost the war in the clgm part okay so if you think that it's it's helpful to you then definitely please like this video share the video with your friends and the colleagues and let's connect again in the other video for the next part of the CHM model. Till the time, take care guys. Bye-bye.